everyone. This is Angie with Life in Orlando, and today we are going to talk about the top things to do in Clearwater Beach. If you have never been to Clearwater Beach, it is located about two to two and a half hours from Orlando. It is close to Tampa on the Gulf side of the state. So that means that it has powdery white sand, very soft sand with wide beaches, crystal water, and you get those gorgeous sunsets. Clearwater Beach has really grown in popularity over the past few years. I call it a very active and bustling beach. There are a lot of hotels there, as well as some condos. You're going to find an abundance of restaurants and a lot of great activities. If you are looking for a beach with a lot to do, then Clearwater Beach could be a really great option for you. So let's start with the top things to do at Clearwater Beach on your next visit. Number one, we have to say, take a boat ride. There are so many different options for great boat rides in Clearwater Beach. If you have kids, then they are going to love the pirate themed cruise. There is also a dolphin cruise, a dolphin cruise that's also um, on a boat that looks like a big shark. The kids love this one. Also um, for adults, there are some sunset cruises where you can have a glass of wine, you can go out on a tropical themed boat and watch the sunset. For thrill seekers, there's going to be a sea screamer boat. There are so many different options and you're going to have a lot of different ones to choose from, but the bottom line is get out on the boat, see the water, whether you're going during the day to see the dolphins or if you're going at night to see a sunset, this is a must do while you are at Clearwater Beach. Number two, visit Pier 60. This pier is going to be hard to miss. It's located right in the middle of the beach and it is a great activity just to take a stroll out on the beach. It's over a thousand feet long so it stretches really far out there. There's fishing. Also it's a great spot to watch the sunsets and at sunset and in the evening it comes to life. We're going to find some street performers out in front of the park in front of the pier. There's also a great playground there for kids and there are some inflatable water slides. So if you have little ones that are kind of getting restless and you're looking for something to do, take them over by the pier. They're going to find a lot of activity over there. Number three, eat seafood at one of the local restaurants. There are several great local restaurants in Clearwater Beach, but there are two in particular that everyone knows about and they have been around for a long time. And that's Frenchie's and Krabby Bill's. Frenchie's has multiple locations and they are known for their grouper sandwich. If you like fish, do not leave Clearwater Beach without trying a grouper sandwich. It is as fresh as you can get and it is one of the things that Clearwater Beach is known for. Also at Krabby Bill's, one of our favorites is the Biardi Crab Legs. These are a great crab leg style, which is kind of a cross between a snow crab and an Alaskan king crab. Krabby Bill's prepares them in this awesome way, which is kind of with some garlic and butter and they grill them. They are so good. And if you love crab legs, definitely give them a try. There are also a lot of restaurants with some great outdoor seating where you can see, have views of the beach and just enjoy that really awesome beach tropical feel while you're there. Number four, check out the Clearwater Beach Marina. This is where a lot of those boats that I was talking about earlier are going to be docked. So you can take a stroll down the marina. You can kind of see them all parked. Um, it's fun just to go and just to kind of check them out because there are some really cool themed options there. Also, this is where you can go if you want to catch a charter boat, if you want to go deep sea fishing, if you want to catch a sailboat. It's kind of cool to walk along there. And if you go there early in the morning, the um, the vendors there are going to have boards out and they're going to tell you what, what kind of fish they're able to catch and they're going to have rates. There's also a couple of restaurants right there at the marina. There's a bait shop, there's a gift shop. So it's kind of fun just to kind of take a stroll there in the morning or in the afternoon and just to kind of check out all of the boats and all of the, the things going on there at the marina. Number five, we can't talk about things to do at Clearwater Beach without talking about the beach itself. The beach at Clearwater Beach is the reason why you go there, of course, and for good reason. It is one of the top beaches in the country and it has been rated that for several years now. There's also a great beach 
walk. So if you get tired of just laying on the beach, take a stroll down the beach walk, have some ice cream. It's fun just to people watch and to kind of just see all the happenings going on at the beach. If you like kind of a bustling beach area, especially in the summer, stick to kind of the center of the beach. This is going to be where the Hyatt, the big pinkish color hotel is and by the pier, all the way down to the end of the beach. If you like a quieter, more peaceful, calm atmosphere, head to North Clearwater Beach. This is where there's gonna be more condos, more residential areas. So you're definitely gonna have less people there and it's going to be a much quieter size. There are also a lot of areas where you're gonna be able to rent beach chairs and umbrellas and cabanas. So if you don't have those with you, don't worry, you can still rent those. Just keep in mind that during the summer months, those can go quickly. So if it's a busy time at the beach and you want to rent a beach chair and umbrella, try to get up there early to rent one. Number six, water sports. If you wanna get out there and get active, then there's a lot of opportunity to do so. There are several uh, spots. You can rent jet skis, paddle boards, kayaks. You can go out on a banana boat if you don't wanna do the driving on your own. But regardless, this is a fun way to get out on the water. It's fairly inexpensive. You can rent some of these things by the hour. Number seven is the Clearwater Beach Aquarium. If you are familiar with Winter the Dolphin, then you definitely need to make a trip to Clearwater Beach Aquarium. So if you have kids, then this would be a great trip to make. You're gonna see sea turtles and some little sharks and some different exhibits and educational opportunities there as well. Number eight, take a ride. And you have a couple of options. One is the Clearwater Jolly Trolley. This is a fun trolley, which is gonna take you all up and down Clearwater Beach, as well as into the town in Clearwater. It's fairly inexpensive. It's about $5 for unlimited rides all day. Plus, it's a great way to get to different destinations along the beach. Also, why not rent one of the fun little rentals available? There are a couple of options where you can rent a Scoop Coop, which is this cute little two-seater car, and then scooters as well. Number nine, visit a park. Clearwater Beach itself may be somewhat commercialized, but there are other great options for you to get out and explore some nature and some very preserved parks. The closest is San Key, which is going to be right over the bridge. There is also Honeymoon Island, which is kind of close to Clearwater Beach as well, where you're gonna have a lot of nature, some beautiful water and some beautiful sand there. Um, what we consider the most beautiful is called Caladesi Park, which is really close to Clearwater Beach. The only way to get there is by a kayak or by a ferry. So if you're looking for something that's quieter with no buildings or a lot of uh, hotels or a lot of activity, give one of these state parks a try. And number 10 would be Stay at a great resort while you are there. This is going to be part of the experience. There are so many great resorts in Clearwater Beach now. You have the Hilton, which is a staple, which is located right on the sand, the Sand Pearl. You also have the Hyatt, the Wyndham, the Opal Sands, a lot of smaller resorts, but there are some great places to stay at Clearwater Beach where you're gonna be able to take advantage of a great pool atmosphere, rent a pool cabana, have some cocktails at the bar, go to the spa, eat at some of the great restaurants. I think that this is going to be a really um, integral part of your Clearwater Beach vacation to be able to really fully enjoy it while you're there and to not just rely on going and laying on the beach all day, take advantage of some of these other things that some of these great hotels and resorts offer as well. So that is our top 10 things to do at Clearwater Beach. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we hope that you have an awesome day.